Behold, dynamite, but where did it come from? Meet Alfred Nobel, born in Sweden in 1833. You could say that innovation ran in Alfred's blood. His father invented mines and torpedoes for Russia. In 1842, Alfred's father relocated the family from Stockholm to St. Petersburg. In 1859, he returned to Sweden and opened a chemical plant with his family. Of all the things the Nobels could create in their new business, nitroglycerin was perhaps the most dangerous. In its liquid form, nitroglycerin is notoriously volatile. A physical shock can make it explode. The businesses and governments of the time were well aware of nitroglycerin's potential for destruction. It was illegal to transport it in several areas of Europe. Yet everything changed when Alfred accidentally discovered dynamite. But what exactly is it? Dynamite is essentially some absorbent material soaked in nitroglycerin. This material stabilizes the explosive and makes it much safer to handle. With the help of a blasting cap, dynamite could pack the same punch as nitroglycerin without the looming threat of a sudden explosion. Alfred expanded operations and became incredibly wealthy. It seemed everyone could use dynamite, but not always for peaceful purposes. As a pacifist, Alfred was racked with guilt, and his invention weighed on his conscience for the rest of his life. This guilt inspired one last invention from Alfred, the Nobel Prizes which awarded individuals that have conferred the greatest benefit on mankind. Nowadays, Alfred Nobel is known as much for these prestigious awards as he is for dynamite.